journalist who was lucky enough to be the editor of the Kiev Post. Uh, thank you all for coming tonight, and I hope this is this is not going to be the only clean, honest, transparent election in Ukraine this month. <laughs> many of you, I hope, read the Kiev Post. I know many of you also contribute to the Kiev Post, and we want to thank you for that. We continue changing, and we're going into our 15th year, and the next Best of Kiev Awards will be our 10th uh, year. The thing is, we continue to change, and we want to listen to what you have to say to us, because we've, we've changed over the years, and we know that as long as we're responsive to the community, we're going to succeed. Because alone, the community coverage doesn't make any money, but together, we realize that if we build the sense of community in Kiev, we're going to succeed as a newspaper. And that brings me to the final two awards. We didn't have these categories before, and they were a great idea, and they were Stuart's idea. The first is Spirit of Kiev, and that is meant to give it to a person who is, embodies the uh, essence of community, charity, and uh, involvement in the community. And we, we definitely try to cover these issues um, in the Kiev Post. The second is Business Person of the Year, and the Business Person of the Year, whoever wins it, this year is, is uh, going to be very deserving because this was a rough year. Last year was a rough year for, for most of us. So that's all I have to say. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. And please find us at the Cube Post. <laughs>